guys what's up welcome back to my channel so as you can see i'm wearing no makeup whatsoever and i'm not even wearing lotion or cream or any of that my face is dry so if it looks that way that's the reason nothing on my face so today i'm actually trying out a mask that i've seen all over youtube but i specifically seen it from Shanique journey to waistline first so i'm like i want to try this it looks pretty cool so what it is is a charcoal mask and the ingredients that you use are of course charcoal powder as well as glue that's all you need and this is the non-toxic glue so i guess it's okay to put on your skin <laughs> don't know so what it's supposed to do is take out your blackheads and your whiteheads and honestly i even heard that it takes off like the hair from your face <laughs> and i have hair on my face so like why not just try it i'm kind of scared about the glue situation but i don't think it's going to do any harm to me um a lot of people on youtube have been doing it so i really want to try it seems like it works so i want to try it for myself to see if it's legit okay so i'm kind of scared right now because i heard that it kind of hurts when you peel it off and i have a lot of hair on my face so we're gonna see but i wax so like i should be kind of used to it so i'm just gonna take one tablespoon of the charcoal and put it into this little bowl right here And then I'm going to apply some of the glue. I'm sorry for this informal video, but I thought it would be kind of fun just to come on here and try it real quick. It can get kind of messy too, so I'm just mixing it and I'm using a makeup brush. So looks like I need more glue. Oh, it's getting creamier now, about after four tablespoons. All right, so this is my skin. I have pretty clear skin, good skin. Um, I have like blackheads and whiteheads around my nose and that's pretty much it and like around this area. So yeah, this is my skin. I have pretty clear skin, just a few bumps and stuff like that. Just a few whiteheads around my nose and as you can see, like, and like look, there's a dried up pimple. And around there. Alright, so I'm just going to start putting this on my face. I'm going to try to focus on my nose because that's where most of the whiteheads are. And I'm going to try to avoid my sideburns because I like my sideburns. Everything else can come off. That's fine with me. That's about as far as I'm going. <laughs> Alright, so I put on the mask. I think I'm good. I have a lot left over, so you didn't even need as much as I used. I pretty much used one tablespoon of, of the charcoal as well as like four tablespoons or three tablespoons of glue. And I was good. Alright, so I'm just going to wait till it fully dries and then we're going to peel it off together. Alright, so this is my face right now after my mask fully dried. And I can barely talk right now. It's that tight. It feels really, really weird. So. Okay. Whew, I can feel it already. Definitely around the places where there's a lot of hair, that's where it hurts. Ugh. So like right around here, jeez. Mm. I can't tell if this is whiteheads or dry, you know, spots. definitely not coming off the way I wanted it to. <laughs> I thought it would be like bigger pieces, you know. Oh. Guys, if you have a low pain tolerance, I definitely do not suggest this at all. Ooh, got some on my nose. I can see that. That's cool.
So it really did get some on my nose. I see, I can really see that, which is kind of cool. I feel like when I seen other people do this, it came off a lot smoother or like in a, a bigger chunks than mine did. Okay, so this is my skin after taking off most of the mask. As you can see, there's still little parts that I didn't take off, but I'm just gonna use a washcloth to do that. I left my skin pretty dry, but around my nose is like really, really smooth. Like around this area, my skin is really, really smooth. So I'm just gonna take a warm washcloth and just wipe the rest off. It easily wipes off, which is good. So after that, I'm definitely gonna apply some of my shea butter. This is the Anu Premium Coconut Shea Butter. This is the shea butter I always use on my face for smooth, radiant skin. My skin literally feels like baby skin right now. It feels really, really good. All right, so my final thoughts about this mask is that I definitely don't think you need to put it all over your face. I think it's very unnecessary. If you have a lot of hair on your face, it's gonna really, really hurt. My, For me, it hurt a lot around this area because that's where I have the most hair. You know, got those Ashanti sideburns. <laughs> so yeah, that's where it hurt. If your pain tolerance is low, it's not gonna work out for you. But I think that it works really, really great around the nose area and like this area right here. So yeah, if you guys do have white or black heads, it definitely will get them out. It'll definitely keep your skin really, really smooth right there as well. So yeah, this was a really fun video to make. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a big old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button down below. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Deuces! <laughs>